been watch. By the way, this is 2 square root of x <coughs> du equals dx. You guys see that, right? Look what would happen. If I do cosine <coughs> u over u, cosine u over u, I can't just make this a du. Even if I did, it wouldn't work because we don't have cosine u over u. That doesn't work. You can't make it co uh, u to the negative 1 times cosine u and split it up. So you don't even know how to take u to the negative 1 because it's ln u. We're not even in that part of the class. So we can't do that one anyway. But this, is, this would not be du. It would be 2 root x du. Is there a place to get rid of the x? What's the one necessity for substitution to work? You've got to have just u's, right? Just u's, and it has to fit your integration table. Otherwise, you did something wrong or you haven't gone far enough. Now, we did something wrong because we can't cross that out, and that's a problem. If you have two different variables, that's typically a big problem for you. You've, gone, you've done something, a mistake in the previous problem. Now, what I can tell you is this. This was the correct substitution, right? dx was that. So that's the correct substitution. I know that I picked my u here, and that's the inside of something, so that had to be right. The only wrong part was probably this one. And if I move it back to what it actually is, the square root of x, do you see how that's really going to help us out? What's that going to do for us? Mm -hmm. So that's gone. A, hey, now I'm good to go. By the way, that 2, is that a 1 half or a 2 over 1? What is that? Two over one. So when I pull this out in front of my integral, it's 2 cosine u du. Oh, that's a pretty easy integral right there. That's a pretty easy one. What's the integral of cosine u du? Positive or negative sign? Positive. Very good, you get negative. So sine u, this equals 2 sine u. That is 2 sine, let's go ahead and substitute back in for what u is. Look like the square root of x. Put a plus c behind it, and you are done. We still feeling okay? Okay. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you one to do on your own. Uh, we'll kind of go back and forth like that, hopefully for a little while. Um, I'll give you one, and maybe I'll help you with the next one, but I want you to mostly do it. Uh, let's see if you can, you can manage to do this one. Go ahead and follow the process down to find it a U. It looks horrible. It's going to look horrible. It's not going to be horrible, though, as long as if you follow this, this process. ones are trig ones. Uh, manipulating trig identities to get something to fit your integration table, that's the hardest. For us, it's either, I mean, if it's not trig, it's, shoot, it's a, it's a finite integration table. It has to fit. So if it doesn't fit directly by breaking up fractions and combining like terms or something or separating integrals, uh, then it has to fit with the substitution. If it's not those two things, it's not going to be in here or we can't do it. Why don't you give it a try? I want you to find your U. I'll put the U up on the board here in just a second. Take the, take the derivative of both sides, do your substitution, and see what happens. Remember, it's up to you to find your U. You, gotta, you guys got to be able to do that. I can't just walk you through it all the time.
when I pick my u, should I pick it with the cube root or without the cube root? Without. Definitely without. Definitely without. With, with the cube root, it's a chain rule, very hard to do. Uh, you, you have some crazy stuff going on. Definitely without. Did you pick that as your u? It's inside something. The derivative is kind of up there, not really because we have the constant, but kind of up there. It's good, good sign. Derivative, oh man. Uh, 25x to the fourth or negative 25x to the fourth? Negative. Better not lose that negative. Oh goodness. Let's do a little dividing. We're going to go real slow. This is not the time to take it quick and make a mistake by doing the math in your head. It's time to write it out and really get the ha handle of this stuff, all right? Not, not doing everything all fancy-dancy. I know there's an x to the fourth. I'm going to leave it a cube root for right now. I'm going to make it a u in there. Did you make it that far? Wait, not sure if you did. You actually made it that far. Yes, these two rows, yes? The dx. The dx is du over negative 25x to the fourth. Right here, you should be able to tell whether you made the correct substitution or not. Don't hammer at this thing if you made the wrong substitution. Should be apparent to you. Uh, did you make the right substitution? Yeah, how do you know? That's great, that's what you want to have happen. So x's are gone. If that happens, most likely you made the right choice. Are there times when you didn't? There's times when you have to go further, yeah. But for us, most of the time, this, this works for us. Okay, let's make things a little bit better. Tell me what I do with the negative 25. And it becomes what? One negative something, right? Negative 1, 25th, whatever that is. I don't really care. How about the, the cube root of u? Is it u to the third, u to the 1 half? What is that? U to the 1 third. Very good. And then du. We made our substitution, no problem. We kept it a cube root, okay. We kept x to the fourth, we don't change that yet. We made our dx exactly what we solved for, not a big deal. Cross out our x to the fourth, that's great. Pulled out the 1 over negative 25, made it negative 1 25th, perfect. We have a cube root into a 1 third power, and now we have something that fits our integration table. And it, it, it looked nasty, easy. That's easy. It has to be easy has to fit your integration table. If it's not easy, you did something wrong. It's not necessarily true. Some of them kind of get a little bit nastier. But for the, for the most part, that's true. Oops. Oh, by the way, this is a good time to tell you this. When you do an integral, you don't write the integral anymore. So I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to write u to the, what is 1 plus that, uh, 4 thirds over 4 thirds. Over 1, over 3. Yeah. Four, 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 four. Like you don't keep writing the integral. It's like taking a square root of something, right? If you do this and you take the square root of 49, you don't write the square root of 7. At least I hope you don't write that. You just write 7. Right? When you're done with the square root, you're done with the square root. When you're done with the integral, you're done with the integral. You don't keep writing it. Just like a derivative, you want to keep writing a derivative. Now let's make this side a little bit better. We get negative 1 over 25. We have 3u to the 4 thirds over 4. Do you see how to flip that up? Mm -hmm. Or you could do 3 fourths times u. You could. So we're going to go ahead and multiply that. That's going to be negative 3u to the 4 thirds over, looks like 100 to you. Mm -hmm. Plus C, we don't have to do it quite yet. If you want to, that's fine. Uh, just make sure you have it at the end of your problem, all right? So right now, there's one more thing I need, bef even before a plus C, if you, if you want. Yeah, we don't want to end in U. What you can do, you can go one more step on this thing and put it back into radical notation if you would like. That will be negative 3 
a cube root, 3 minus 5x to the fifth, all to the fourth power, all over 100. Plus C. I was waiting for it. Plus C. Yes, no? Yeah, you could have the negative 3 over 100 times that whole thing. What I really care about is, do you see, I mean, when you get really good at derivatives, you've been doing this for a while, you can see it even better, but do you see that this is the derivative of that? Do you see some things coming out of that? Mm -hmm. Four-thirds goes down to one-third. Mm -hmm. Derivative of the inside is something x to the fourth. There's a something x to the fourth. That 25, that's gonna, it's going to simplify down to that. So that is going to work. That's a nice way to kind of check your work is with the derivative. You having fun yet? This is like the uh, the pure non-theory part of this class, right? <laughs> it's just like we're just hammering down on some problems right now, which I guess can be kind of fun. We get theory part uh, probably next time, where we're going to find out why this is the way that it is. Because I said so. <laughs> That's your theory behind it. Yeah. <coughs> three ways to do things, right way and wrong way and right way. <laughs> So that's the way how they discovered the term for the right way. Right. <laughs> so integral of x squared, square root of x minus 1. Now, now this one might trick you if you really don't listen to what, I, what I've said before. This one might trick you. Here's why it might trick you. I said two things have to happen. First, you pick your u so it makes it easier. You pick your u because it's typically the inside of something. And you pick your u where the derivative is there. That's where the problem might come in here. Because... And it goes in the order which I told you. Uh, it goes in the order of pick it, make it easier, pick it, make it on the inside of something, pick it so the derivative is there. Now, is this on the inside of something? The derivative is not really there because that's the inside of something. That's a problem. Now, if I pick this as my u, my derivative is just 1. That doesn't take care of the x squared. So this is kind of something where, like, oh my gosh, I have no idea. Pick something. Pick something and pick something that's the inside. That's the best way to start. If you pick the inside, do you notice how you don't know how to take the integral of the square root of x minus 1, right? But you do know how to take the integral of the square root of u. You with me on that? If it's u to the 1 half, that fits. That's how you pick your u. So here you are. Let's go ahead and pick our u x minus 1. Are you okay with this so far? Right. du is what? 1 dx. Or in other words, simply dx. Feel okay? You sure? Now, we're going to do some fancy math. Fancy math. Is x squared still there? Is the square root still there? Is the x minus 1 still there? What is it? U. It is me. And is the dx still there? 